No email, no phone, no problem. You can still recover your Facebook account. Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Tutorial. If you can't log into your Facebook account because you lost your email or phone number, don't worry. In this video, I'll show you the latest and 100% working method to recover your Facebook account easily. So make sure you watch until the end. But before that, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button as a sign of your support for our channel. Okay, first of all, you need to open Google Chrome on your phone. Then, on Google, you need to search, just type Facebook recovery. You'll see the search results. Choose the one that says Account Recovery Facebook Help Center. Then, the Account Recovery page will appear. Scroll down to the bottom until you find the section Recover an Account. Click on that section. After that, you'll see the Recover an Account page. At the bottom of the page, you'll see a list of common problems faced by Facebook users. Here, you just need to select Recover Your Facebook Account if you can't access your email address or mobile phone number. Then, an article will appear below. Scroll down and click on the link facebook.com slash hack. Next, you'll see the page What to Do If Your Account Has Been Hacked. Now, here's the most important thing you need to know. You must use the device that you usually use for Facebook, whether it's your phone, PC, tablet, or any other device. Using the device that you usually use can help Facebook recognize and confirm that the account you're trying to recover belongs to you, okay? So take note of that. Then click on Next, and the page Find Your Hacked Account will appear. At the bottom, you need to enter the email address that you used for the Facebook account you want to recover. Then click on Continue. After that, the Recover This Account page will appear. Make sure the name and profile picture shown here belong to your Facebook account that you want to recover. If you confirm that this is your account, click Recover. Next, the page Complete the Security Steps to Recover This Account will appear. There are several security steps you need to complete to verify that this Facebook account belongs to you. But please take note, if what you see on your screen is not exactly the same as what I'm showing in this video, and your screen says, try another device to continue. I'll explain that part later in this video, okay? Now, you need to complete the security step to verify this account belongs to you. Just click Recover. Then, the page Choose a Way to Recover will appear. Here, you'll see there are three ways to recover your Facebook account, through your email address, WhatsApp number, or a code sent to your phone number. But in this case, we cannot access any of these, right? So. You can try another way by clicking See More Options. Then another option will appear. Take a video selfie. By choosing this selfie method, you can recover your Facebook account without using your email or phone number. So click Take a Video Selfie. Then click Continue. After that, the page Choose a New Email Address to Log In and Get Notifications will appear. Here, you need to enter a new email address, not the one you used for your Facebook account, a new email. Then click Continue. Next, the page Check Your Email will appear. Here's what you need to do. Open your email and check for a message from Facebook. You'll receive an email like this containing a security code. Copy that code, go back to the recovery page, and paste the security code into the provided field. Then click Continue. Next, the page Confirm Your Identity with a video selfie will appear. Here, you need to take a selfie video to verify your selfie with the photos on your profile, okay? Then click Next. After that, the page Take a Video Selfie will appear. Click Start Selfie, and your phone's front camera will open automatically. Follow the on-screen instructions to record your selfie video. Once your selfie is done successfully, the page Submit Your Video Selfie for Review will appear. Just click Submit. Wait a few moments while the upload process completes. The review process usually takes about one to two minutes. After that, the page Change Password will appear, and you'll see the status at the bottom that says Identity Confirmed. That means your Facebook account has been successfully recovered. Now you can create a new password for your Facebook account here. Then click Continue. Next, the page you're back. Remember your new login info will appear. Click Close, and you'll be automatically logged into your Facebook account. So easy, right? But if what you see on your screen is not exactly the same as what I'm showing in this video, and your screen says, try another device to continue, 
that means Facebook cannot recognize or gather enough information to confirm that the device you're using belongs to you. So once again, the most important thing to remember, you must use the device that you usually use for Facebook, whether it's your phone, PC, tablet, or any other device. Using your usual device helps Facebook recognize and confirm that the account you're trying to recover is truly yours, okay? So take note of that. I hope this video helped you recover your Facebook account without email or phone. If it worked for you, don't forget to hit the like button and drop a comment below to let me know. And if you want more useful tech tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe to Mr. Tutorial and turn on the notification bell so you never miss my next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.